Stomach cancer is relatively rare in the U.S. It's often diagnosed at later stages in the disease, when symptoms like nausea, heartburn, and feeling bloated are more pronounced. In general, when we talk about gastric cancer, we usually talk about a cancer that's arising from the lining of the stomach. Early signs of stomach cancer vary and can include abdominal pain, blood in the stool, or just feeling tired. If you have a cancer in the stomach, that might ooze blood uh, very slowly, and that can cause anemia or low hemoglobin, and that can lead to fatigue. If you're a man, you're at higher risk for stomach cancer than a woman. Other risk factors include obesity, smoking, and drinking alcohol. And then there are other risk factors, such as there are some uh, hereditary syndromes or things that we inherit from our parents that put us at higher risk of, of developing gastric cancer or stomach cancer. Treatment options depend on the cancer's location in the stomach, its size, and stage, but can include surgery, chemotherapy, radiation, and immunotherapy. I tell patients who have recently been diagnosed with gastric cancer is that there is definitely a hope uh, because we've gotten significantly better in the last decade and more specifically really in the last year or two where we have now many more treatment options than, than we had before. For the Mayo Clinic News Network, I'm Jason Howland.